Hi guys, charity shop gold or garbage. Went out to Chip in Sodbury today. Spotted this in one of the charity shops. Priced at £2.50. And it's one of those 2.4 gigahertz models that seem to be coming out now. So, first impression, gold or garbage, it's garbage. Why is it garbage? Because we don't have a transmitter with it, a controller, a remote. And without that, it's no good to anybody. I mean, yeah, you can push it along a little bit, or put it on a shelf and look at it. But you're not going to be able to drive it. And the modern toy grade 2.4 gigahertz is as bad as the old infrared controls. They're not compatible with each other. They're not standard. Uh, who's it made by? Uh, can we read that? Pro Produced, no, oh, product under license of Lamborghini, Aventador, LP704, Ying Fen Wan Toys Company Limited, made in China. Uh, that looks like 2017 July, on that label there. And as I say, 2.4 gigahertz. I've put fresh batteries in it. And it does make a noise, which is it waiting to bind, I think. And I've tried it with my Maisto Extreme controllers, just in case, because they're 2.4 gigahertz, and I've tried my normal Flysky controllers, because they're proper hobby grade 2.4 gigahertz, uh, and I've tried this one, which I can't remember who it, whose it is, Super RC System AX5S, 2.4 gigahertz. And it doesn't bind with that one either. So, like I was saying, garbage really. Was that one 2.4 gigahertz as well? I can't remember. I think it was. Yeah, that one was 2.4 as well. That's the one I changed the receiver out for a proper hobby grade one and put a 3S LiPo in it. So, what are we going to do with this one? I guess I can just take it apart so we can have a look inside. But we're not going to see it running unless I can find a suitable transmitter. I've seen some in the shops that look like this. I can't remember which shop it was. It might even have been Lidl. Don't know. But, as I say, without a proper controller, looks pretty, but a waste of time, waste of money. Oh, I didn't pay £2.50 for it, because I pointed out that it was useless without the controller, and I said, oh, well, we put the batteries in it, and it made noises. I said, well, yeah, that's the noise it makes, because that's waiting to bind. But it's not going to do anything. It's not going to run forwards and backwards and turn corners, which is what it's supposed to do. And they said, well, how about a pound? So for a pound, might as well have it. We'll do a teardown. Have a look inside. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases.
you can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.